So specialty coffee, such a long journey. So on the last episode, we briefly talked about processes. Well, it doesn't just stop there at the farm. Now what we do at this point is we load up the coffee after whether it's been washed, whether, whether it's honey, whether it's natural, and then we load it to the truck and it gets transported to the mill. Now, mind this, the roads are not even paved. So these are super hard to get through trails and where you have to go on a four x four pickup truck. You really need to know what you're doing. So the coffee gets transported to the mill. Okay, and then when it gets to the mill, it gets offloaded from the truck and it gets, uh, it gets spread it out on patios, on what we call sun drying patios. So we sun dry our coffee, which again adds another special flavor to it because we don't just put it directly into like a dryer machine. We sun dry carefully. We have these special rakes. So we have our workers at the dry mill and they rake the coffee back and forth, back and forth until the moisture starts to uh, dissipate down to uh, roughly between 10 and 12% of, of moisture content. Then once it gets to this level, the coffee then gets to a machine called the hulling machine. So the coffee gets hulled because there's still this layer on the coffee bean called the parchment, or in Spanish we call it pergamino. So the pergamino gets removed in this machine. After it gets hulled, it goes through this conveyor belt where you have a lot of workers like lined up on each side of the conveyor belt and by hand, they're picking out all the defects, all the imperfections from coffee, whether the beans were chipped, they were chewed from the pulper, or if they have a thing called the, uh, uh, we call it the border or the, the broca, it's like, it's like a little hole on the bean, that's a, an imperfection, that gets removed, it goes through the conveyor belt, and after it goes through the conveyor belt, we then send it through a special scanner and the scanner removes the imperfection that the human eye cannot catch. So those get removed from the scanner. We actually send our coffee twice for a higher quality control level. So again, the journey of coffee is so long, it's so intense, and that's why we have such an amazing coffee because we care so much about each and every bean. So the dry mill plays a very important role in amazing specialty coffee. So the coffee at the dry mill. You might think, oh, is this it? Is it over? Can I enjoy my cup of coffee now? You really can't. Think about from the time that we talked about the varietal and everything else after that, how many hands has the coffee been gone through? It's just amazing. It's insane how many hands the coffee goes through. So for this particular episode, we're gonna close it out here at the dry mill episode. And until the next one, please click the link below, hit the like button and subscribe and wait for more of these awesome videos. Thank you.